Hi Libra, welcome back to Dreams here. I'm here to do your next 48 reading. If this resonates with you at any time, please make sure you give me a big fat thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. <laughs> it, also, it helps my channel grow, guys. It also helps this video reach other Librans like yourself um, who need to hear this message. So I appreciate each and every one of your likes. Comment a moon down below for Dream Tarot. And subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming on in a couple days. Keep in mind that this is a personal, I'm sorry, this is a general reading. It's not personal, Libra. Something that does not resonate with you could resonate for another Libra, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, whatever doesn't apply, let it fly and don't shoot the messenger. Don't get mad at me, okay? Now, if you want a personal reading, the, all that information will be in the description box down below on how you can book with me on my website. If you want to follow any of my social media links, um, that's in the description box. If you want to see my second YouTube channel, sorry, I had to put my camera on the charger. My second YouTube channel is also in the links down below for you in the description box. Also, if you want to shop my store, um, that's going to be the first link in the description box. I am wearing some pieces. Today, I'm wearing one of my tarot card pendant necklaces. This is the moon card one. I have other designs on my website if you're interested, okay? And also, I'm wearing the Sodalite chakra bracelet that has the horseshoe. I love that horseshoe. Also, I'm wearing my aquamarine chakra bracelet with the evil eye hams in hand and the lapis lazuli um, chakra bracelet with the evil eye hams in hand. Whatever, all those are on my website. Plus, I have a lot of new items. You might want to go check that out if you're interested. First link in the description box. All right, so Libra, let's get started with your reading. Let's get started with your reading. Libran. All right, the song starting off your reading was Lessons. It just went off. So Lessons. So you're going to be learning a lesson within the next 48 hours. Okay. Wrong cards. I'm all over the place, guys. Okay, let's see. Okay, so give me some advice for my Librans for the next 48 hours, please. Oh, okay. There's a lot of cards that just came out. So let's just go for it, I guess. All right, first message says no equals a full sentence. You don't have to explain yourself to no one. If you tell a family member, a friend, or a lover no, they just have to accept that no. Stop explaining yourself so much to people. Does it, it doesn't fucking matter. You said no, that's what it is. Then what does this one say? Namaste. The slay in me notice, recognizes or notices the slay in you, okay? So... I feel like there's positive people around you. They're going to have some supporters around you that notice, you know, your good qualities, your positive energy, your sexiness, your handsomeness, your charm. Those people are not haters. So you're going to have a lot of positive people, supporters, giving you compliments within the next 48 hours. And I feel like you're going to be appreciative of this because I think naturally, Libra, I, I have to say this, Libra, naturally... If you have friends, because some of you guys are going to be like, I don't have friends. Okay, whatever. But the, the ones of you who do have friends have jealous friends around you. Okay? Why? I don't know. But, you know, it is what it is. But you're going to have a lot of strangers just complimenting you for no reason. I think it's going to make you notice in your family members or the friends around you that they don't compliment you half as much as these um, these strangers. And you're going to be like, damn. Like, who am I surrounding myself with? Because friends are supposed to uplift you. And I feel like you haven't heard a compliment from one of your friends in a long ass time. So that's going to tell you something. All right, this says holding on to resentments. What does it say? It's like taking a shit in your own heart, okay? <laughs> so if there's anything that you're holding on to that you know you need to let go, but it's super hard because you're not over it and you still have, you feel like the person either didn't hear your part out, they don't understand your part, you know what it is when you argue with someone and you guys are res um, resolving the argument it's like okay i'm apologizing they're apologizing that's one thing but another thing that people look for is understanding there's someone around you that you feel like doesn't understand you and that's why you can't let go of whatever you're holding on to libra the hard truth is that some people either understand you and will acknowledge that because their pride is so fucked up or is that this person just doesn't understand because maybe they weren't raised that way or they're not used to that kind of relationship where think about someone who was raised in a family where their parents never said, I'm sorry, when they were dead ass wrong to the child. So when they grow up, right, this person feels like they don't have to apologize to you because that's not how they were raised. You have to understand that everybody doesn't think the same as you. Everybody has different brains and you have to be okay with that. Okay. What else is here? All right. Fuck what they think. Okay. Period. 
there's some people who are going to be judging you. Could be coworkers is what I'm getting to. You have coworkers or like haters. I don't know who these haters are, Libra. You have haters. They be thinking wild about you. Fuck what they think. Live your life. It's only your life. Do what you want. People want to judge you. But guess what? They wish they were in your shoes. All right. You have a lot of messages. Three more, okay? If you if you wouldn't say it to a friend, you, sh you shouldn't say it to yourself, okay? Stop the negative self-talk. All right. Going to move forward. What else? The world doesn't owe you anything. Period. This is even with the, the person that you are wanting an apology or understanding from. They don't owe you that. You got to be okay with that. Some people don't get it. It's okay. They might not be for you. May not be the person that you want to put in your life. Think about that. Stop trying to make someone fit into your life. It's kind of like having that puzzle piece that toddlers play with. And they have all the blocks. And they're supposed to put the block into the, the square into the square piece. But it's you putting the circle into the square piece. And it won't fit. And you're like fucking fit. And it's not. Okay. Fuck that fucking circle. Throw that shit out your life. Pick up a square. The square fits. <laughs> All right. Beautiful things happen when you distance yourself from negative shit. When you distance yourself from negative people. Okay. Let's get into your reading, Libra. Enough. All right. First of all, let's get the major arcana. Give me the major arcana spirit um, crowning Libra's reading today. Give me the major arcana crowning Libra's reading today. Give me the major arcana crowning Libra's reading today. You know why I think all these messages are coming out for you? I'm really thinking about your birthday, Libra, which is like sometime around September, if I'm not mistaken. And it may be November. I, I might be wrong. But I think Spirit wants you to get ready for your new age, which is your birthday. Your birthday is your new age, at least how I see it. And so Spirit's wanting you to realize some things before that happens. Judgment card and the temperance in reverse. A lot of unbalanced relationships in your life. A lot of you pouring into people and they're not pouring back into you. So Spirit's making a decision here in your life for you to understand. You don't see it, but it's happening and you need to just accept it, okay? Let's get into your reading today, Libra, because I think this is going to be a powerful reading for sure. All right, what's going on, my Librans, for the next 40 hours, please? What's going on, my Librans, for the next 40 hours? What's their energy? Knight of Pentacles, okay, slow moving energy. What's so slow moving? The Ten of Cups, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Wow. Okay. What else? Queen of Wands. Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You have a new beginning here. You have also happiness, love, recognition here. But guess what sucks about all of that good energy? It takes forever for you to either acknowledge that or see it. Or for it to come into your life. So it's taken a long time. But you do have good positive energy coming towards you. Also could be with the judgment card temperance. That God or divine is not giving this to you at this time. Because there's a lot of unbalanced shit in your life. It also could be too what I'm getting Libra. Is that a lot of blessings have been. I won't say blocked but postponed with the Knight of Pentacles. Because there are people that are around you that do not they're not supposed to reap these benefits that you're about to get. Judgment card means make that decision now for you to get these things. There's people who eat off of you, Libra. Who are these people that eat off of you? Who are these people? All right, let's get into your reading. Could be dealing with a um, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag, okay? Yeah. That's what I'm getting. Or this could be simply you're just your energy. So what's the Knight of Pentacles? All right. The Knight of Pentacles is the star card. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. You know, it seems like you're very slow to healing something. Let's see what else is here. Or your stardom is very slow. Because I feel like you're about to be really recognized a lot with the Queen of Wands, the star card. And it's taking a long time. But then the temperance is coming up again. You, things have to be balancing your life for you to have this. It also could be that where divine knows that if things are not balancing your life, that you won't be able to even feel this energy, right? You could get a lot of recognition, but if you don't feel balanced, if you don't feel happy in your life, you're not going to appreciate this. What is the star card, please? What's the star card? Five of Wands. There's a lot of conflict around this healing or a conflict around this, you know, notoriety. What's the temperance? Queen of Swords, okay. High Priestess and then the Nine of Cups. Hmm. 
what I see too, Libra, is that you've been very like um straight faced lately. And what I mean by that is that you're not smiling these days. What what is the reason for that? Is it because it's a lot of drama when you're trying to heal? I feel like you keep trying to heal and there's always some bullshit coming up that always like puts you some steps back. And it's not you, it's literally people around you. Um, I also feel like people are questioning your worth or you feel that way that people are questioning your work, like what you can um, contribute to a project or to a certain relationship or to a situation. People keep questioning you like you're not built for this. That that gets you super discouraged. You've been very quiet lately. You're not speaking up. You're not speaking. What's the Queen of Swords temperance card? Nine of Swords. Okay, so you're still not sleeping well at night, Libra. There's something about you're not feeling complete in your life and you don't know if that's within your relationships or if that's within yourself. And I see that you're going to be able to slowly build this, right? You have everything you need to make this right, but it's just... I don't know if you feel out of place with the Knight of Pentacles. That's why it's moving so slow because your future looks very bright here. You have the Ten of Cups, Queen of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. So you have all eyes on you. Not only that, I see happiness with the Ten of Cups. I also see a new beginning for you, but you don't feel optimistic in that way like it's happening for you, but it is. What's the Ten of Cups here? Ten of Swords. Wow. So think about that. How can you enjoy the Ten of Cups, happiness, elation? Is that is that a word? Being elated? Is elation a word? Okay. Um, just being fully complete, but then also having to deal with the Ten of Swords. That's the problem. So that's the problem. So you do have a lot of things that you wanted or you do see the potential within your life, but you're still very much hurting. You're still very much... Um, going through something behind the scenes that nobody knows about. It's like everything else is in your life is good. I see you like, um, there's like a, um, you feel most, I don't know what it is about being cooped up. There's something about being cooped up. And I feel like if you have a patio here with the Ten of Swords, you feel released. You feel released from being in the nature. Maybe you need to go into the nature. Maybe you need to go camping. Maybe you need to go like on a jog or like just go into nature, have a picnic at the park or something. Hmm, that gives me an idea to call up my Libra bestie. Maybe we need to go to the park, but it seems like you need to get out of the house with this Ten of Cups, Ten of Swords, because it's like everything should be going great in your house, but you have a lot of pain within your house. Maybe a lot of things happen that reminds you of certain things that you just can't. You can't get happy or you can't feel motivated for the future. What else is here? The Wheel of Fortune. Things are changing. So you need to be prepared for this because you're going to get everything you've been dreaming of, Libra. But I just don't feel like you feel happy about it. You're not excited. What's the Ten of Swords? What's the Ten of Swords? Give me some cards, please. What's the Ten of Swords? Judgment card in reverse. I won't say that you don't trust in God. It's kind of like where things don't really go your way. And you're like, okay, I'm I'm being positive. I'm not doing anything really messed up. Why does it seem like karma is not on my side? And I don't even think that's that. I think that everybody feels this way right before karma, good karma hits. Everybody feels like the world is just crashing in on them or things are not really looking up. Just as good karma is about to hit you. And I really see that happening. So stay positive. What's the Wheel of Fortune? Because this will is turning and it's a positive with this Ten of Cups. You're going to get everything you've been dreaming of. You just don't feel it as of lately. What else is here? King of Cups, okay? So you have the King of Cups here with the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. Hmm. It's very interesting. What else do we have here? The Queen of Swords. Okay, so also too, I feel like whoever this person is that you're dating they're changing for the better as well, but you don't trust it because this person has hurt you so much too in the past, Ten of Swords. 
So it's kind of like you can't trust this new person that's coming out. Your person could be changing for the better. You just don't trust it for some reason, okay? Yeah, the Two of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. So this person's acting really good. They're being what you want them to be. Soulmate energy. And then you feel like, okay, I want to lay foundations on with this person. Even the Hierophant. They could be telling this to you, Libra. I want to I wanna do right by you. Let's get more committed. Someone's being more committed, but you don't trust it because of what you've been through in the past, okay? So let's get this Queen of Wands. It looks like all eyes are going to be on you very soon. So let's see what's going on here. What's the Queen of Wands? What's the Queen of Wands? Knight of Wands. What else? King of Wands. On Okay. Hmm. I feel like also there's like whoever your lover is or if there's someone around you, there could be someone that's close to you, okay? It doesn't have to be a lover. They are used to getting a lot of attention. It's like someone who is used to getting a lot of attention giving you a lot of attention and it's coming out of nowhere, the Knight of Wands. And you're very confused by this. You don't know if you can trust it. But I feel like just reap the benefit of it. Like don't, it doesn't matter if you trust it or not. Just enjoy the, the attention. You don't have to accept this person. You don't have to be kumbaya with this person. Just accept them, you know, giving you the attention because you deserve it. What's the Knight of Wands? Sometimes we've been hurt so much, Libra, that when good things happen, we're still stuck up on why instead of enjoying the moment. Sometimes we're like, why is this happening? Or why is this person treating me like this instead of enjoying the moment? I really want you to enjoy this moment. You don't have to trust this person. Just enjoy the moment. What's the Knight of Wands? Yeah, the three of wands. It's all about moving forward. So you're going to be getting all this tension from people who want to move forward with you. They know that that, that they want to... They, this could be from someone who feels like they didn't give you a lot of attention in the past and you deserved it. So now it's coming. It's like a late delivery. It's like three of wands. It's like someone should have been giving you this attention. Now they're giving it to you. You don't trust it. But still, live within the moment. Fuck them. <laughs> King of wands. It's not about them. It's about you, honestly. Four of wands. Yeah, this king of wands... King of Cups, whoever this person is, they are up your ass. And you're just, you don't trust it. You're like, this is a sly flop fox. Well, wrestle with the fox for a little bit and just enjoy your moment. Doesn't mean you have to trust them. Who said that you have to trust this person or give your soul to them? No, just enjoy your attention. It will be a good time, okay? Somebody's trying to show you that they understand your worth, okay? All right, so let's get your last words, Libra, and then we're going to get on to your homeboy, homegirl, okay? Because we are 17 minutes in. That's because I was talking so much. I'm sorry. I feel like the beginning of these reads, you, Capricorn, and probably um, Virgo are going to have long readings, and I don't think you guys... I don't think you guys give a fuck. I think you guys actually will be happy about that, okay? So let's see. Give me some last words for Libra, please. Give me some last words for my Librans. Give me some last words from my Librans, please. And thank you, Spirit. Give me some last words from my Librans. Oh, come on. Give me some last words from my Librans. <laughs> Are you done with a Capricorn Libra or do you have Capricorn in your chart? Because yeah <laughs> okay all right anyway oh all right that's not funny i don't know why i laugh every time this comes out okay anyway gay is the bottom of the deck so some of you guys could be in same same sex relationships could be thinking about being in a same sex relationship or gay could literally mean happy in the english dictionary okay <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Let's go on to the next one. I'm telling you, some of you guys are doing Capricorns, but we're going to get to it, okay? Great P word, great D word. Libra, you hold that firecracker, okay? <laughs> Literally says Libran. After that message fell out, and then it said Libran. So we know we're talking about you. We're not talking about your other counterpart, the person you're dealing with. We're talking about you. You hold that firecracker. We got big following, okay? So this could be where all this attention is coming from. And you're so, it's kind of weird because I feel like even if you are getting a big following from strangers, you keep, you're so hung up on why is everybody following me? Why am I getting all these Facebook requests? Why are so many people hitting me up? Why are so many people giving me attention while I'm out? 
just enjoy it remember when i said strangers are literally going to be giving you compliments from left to right you're going to be like why why no 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 just be like thank you thank you like be a just just live it, bask in the moments for you you're a superstar okay i miss you someone misses you or you miss somebody okay now I said you could be Capricorn, you could have Capricorn placements, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, okay? Because these some of these messages came out in Capricorn. You also have toxic family, okay? So there could be, you could have family members who have been giving you a lot of pain and suffering lately and you're just tired of them motherfuckers. All right, true love slash my, you're my soulmate. Someone could feel this way about you. You could have felt like you are dealing with your true love, your twin flame recently, or someone feels this way about you, Libra. All right, alcoholic is coming out. So you could be throwing them drinks back. No judgment here. No judgment, guys. But this could be a message for you, or you could be dealing with the alcoholic, okay? What else is here? Winter, something significant could be happening this winter for you, okay? Even though that's some some months away, it's going to come faster than you think, okay? So be prepared. Remember, I also said, too, Spirit's trying to get you ready for your season, which your season is not winter time per se. It's more so, more so fall, but also getting you ready for winter season, fall season. All right, fantasizing about you. Someone's been fantasizing about you, Libra, or you've been fantasizing about someone, okay? All right, let's get into your homeboy, homegirl. Spirit, give me some messages. Oh, actually, give me the Major Arcana crowning Libra's homeboy, homegirl, please, for the next 48 hours. Give me the Major Arcana crowning Libra's homeboy, homegirl for the next 48 hours, please. Give me some cards. The Wheel of Fortune upright. Okay, cool. The star card. So someone is changing for the better, whoever this person is. And they're healing themselves. Somebody's actually really surprising you. You don't know whether to trust it or not, Libra. You don't know whether to trust this motherfucker or not. You're like, yo, I got all four of my eyes on you. Some of you guys wear glasses. Some of you guys wear contacts. But some of you guys are like, I got all four of my eyes on you. I'm watching you. You don't trust this person, okay? <laughs> you do not trust this person. You're like, this is too good to be true. I don't trust you. I don't trust you, okay? So let's see. Don't, you know, let's see what's going on with your home, <laughs> home girl for the next 48 hours. Give me some cards. What's going on with Libra's homeboy, home girl spirit? Uh-oh, what is that? Okay. Give me some messages for Libra's homeboy, home girl, please. All right, let's see what's going on. All right, the Nine of Wands, okay? Wounded Warrior. Definitely could be dealing with the Capricorn because that came out in Capricorn. The World card, what else? Someone's ending cycles. Ending toxic cycles in their life, the Devil card. So this person was toxic to you in the past, for sure. Looks like they're wanting to end those cycles because they... Under Not only does this person understand the toxic cycles, what they've done to you, Libra... They understand how it's changed them for the worse over the years. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's focused on their future and stability. They want to be good for their future. Somebody's finally realizing that. Keyword, finally. Okay? Let's get into this shit. Let's see. Nine of Wands. Aerial Sag. The World Card. Um, Capricorn. All right. We also have the Devil here. Capricorn. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. Um, Capricorn, Virgo, Um Taurus, sorry, star card, Aquarius, Will of Fortune, Sag. Could not, this per, This could just be this person's energy. It doesn't have to be any of those signs anyway, okay? What's the Nine of Wands? Four of Cups in Reverse. Somebody realized that you were getting very sick and tired of them to where you didn't even, this could be someone that you didn't want to have sex with for a while, Libra. Like you cut them off completely. You didn't want to kiss them. You didn't want to look at them. You didn't want to hang out with them. You started looking elsewhere. Your eye was wandering, per, you know, from this person. I feel like that really propelled this person to change because they didn't like that. The sun card. This person wants to be your one and only. They're very, I wouldn't say very jealous, but very, that that really hurt them. That you started having a wandering eye or you wanted to date other people. Or that you just, it looked like you started getting disgusted with this person. I feel like at one point, Libra, you were so head over heels this person. You There's nothing that this person, you know, could do to make you stray away from them. But then you started getting sick and tired of being sick and tired. And you, you're, you know, you started... Saying, okay, I think I could be single or I could date other people. And this person did not like that. What's the Four of Cups in Reverse? They didn't like that shit. Four of Cups in Reverse is the devil. Yeah, this could definitely be a Capricorn. Or this is like someone who started really obsessing over you after they seen that you weren't even giving them the time of day. So you realize that was the Sun card. 
this could also be someone who like with the devil card makes you feel bad about having a wandering eye or looking elsewhere but it also made them change so you're just like i don't give a fuck <laughs> All right, anyway, the, the Four of Wands of the Sun card. Somebody really felt like that you guys had a home together. So that they only want to be your one and only. Somebody can envision you living with someone else or making a home with someone else. Three of Wands. So how can we move forward from this? Nine of Wands and quickly. So this is someone who as soon as they seen that you were dating someone else, they started just popping up in your life all the time or making quick changes here, okay? So it's like someone changed too quickly for you too. You're not used to this person acting like this so quickly. So you're judging. You're like, hmm, I don't know if I can trust them. That's why you have like this untrusting energy towards this person. The world card looks like they're closing out cycles here. What's the world card for this person? Hold on. I know I just flipped the card over. Hold on, y'all. Did I not or did what? Okay, it'll pop up. World card, please. I know I just flipped the card over. There we go. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so it took this person long enough to close out these cycles. Seven of Pentacles. You really had to wait for this, but now you can reap the, the fruit. So it's like, you know, it's like now, it's so crazy because now this person is ready to like settle down or they're ready to change their ways for you, but you had to wait so long for this. And it's good, right? It's, it's like you should be over the moon for this, but you're not. You're not because you're like, um how long did I have to wait for this shit? <laughs> You're over it now. It's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like waiting so long for like your favorite, um, like, like something that's your favorite, favorite movie, favorite like song, favorite artist to put out some music. And then once they do, you already moved on. You're like, okay, well, this is my favorite artist now. And I'll listen to your CD or your album, but I don't think CD, like what age are we in? I'll listen to your favorite album, but it doesn't hit the same. It's not, it doesn't make me jump for joy. Even though it's good, it's like I'm really focused on this other artist now. What else? The world card? All right, so we have the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, somebody's changing, closing out bad cycles. We have the Seven of Pentacles, but I feel like you're just over it. That's how you feel? Even though it's good. What's the Seven of Pentacles? Queen of Swords, yeah, you're just over it. You're not really like, you're just like, okay, that's nice for you. What's the Wheel of Fortune? Wheel of Fortune is the Five of Cups, okay? You're thinking about like, why hasn't, why didn't this sh person change when I was really hurting over them? Five of Cups? I feel like this person put you through a lot. And there was, there was a lot of tears shed in this relationship. And you're like, why didn't they change then? That's what you're thinking. So what's the devil card then? What's the devil card doing here? So if you're dealing with a Capricorn, they want to take action towards you. Or somebody wants to take action. Like they're obsessing over this. This is what all somebody talks about is taking action towards you. Or if they don't even talk about it, they've been thinking about it long and hard. Or taking action to change from their negative ways. Knight of Pentacles, it did take this person a long time. So if you were to talk to this person about it, they would say, yeah, I know. I know I made you wait. I know it took a long time, but I'm trying. What's the two of wands? Three of swords. Knight of Pentacles. Someone's trying to get your attention so bad right now. And it's like, okay, it's really karma. And I'm just going to say that and move forward, right? Because someone made you wait to get their shit together. And now you're making them wait for you. I won't say to get your shit together for you to pay attention. And that's just what it is. It's justice. It's karma. Like I just said. So now let me get this person's last words before we move on to the extended reading. An extended reading, if you're interested, Libra, we're going to go deeper into this person's energy. And then we're also going to see what the outcome is going to be between you guys right now. So let's see what's going on here. Let's get the last words, okay? Last words for Libra's homeboy, homegirl, please. Last words for Libra's homeboy, homegirl. Before we go on to the extended reading spirit.
Bottom says, nobody does it better than you. I promise you, you could be dealing with a Capricorn or someone who has Capricorn placements. You could have Capricorn placements because that came out too. All right, police slash law enforcement is coming out. You could be dating a police officer, someone who is like a judge or somebody who's like an um, FBI agent. That's what I'm hearing. But someone who works for the police or law enforcement or the police had to get involved in y'all situation at one point. What else do we have here? Spoiled brat. This person could act like a spoiled brat. They could feel like you're a spoiled brat, okay? Um, great chemistry. You and this person have great chemistry, and that's undeniable, okay? Kids. You guys could be trying to work things out for the kids, or you guys have kids together, or kids could be a very big dynamic between you and this person, okay? Car secrets. I'm telling you, this came out in Capricorn. Car secrets, okay? So something within a car, something could have been found in a car. Someone could have been cleaning out someone's car and found something, okay? Or y'all did something in the car, okay? X for a reason. This is your ex, okay? But they seem like they're still lingering around. <laughs> trust issues. This person has a lot of trust issues. You could have trust issues with this person. Trust issues could be a... Um, a uh, what am I trying to say? It could be a problem in this in this relationship, this connection. I've been hurt before, okay? Because someone has been hurt in the past, they've been they've been dipping and dodging this connection, and now they're really ready to put their all into this. But I feel like you've pulled back, or you're just not trusting of it at this time, okay? So anyway, I'm gonna take this extended reading. The link will be in the description box down below if you're interested. I'll see some of you guys there. Like the video if it um, resonated with you, please. Comment a moon down below for Dream Tarot and subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple of days. If you want a personal, all the information's in the description box. If you want to shop my store, first link in the description box for you. Um, I love you guys so much, and I'll see some of you guys in extended, and I'll see some of you guys in your next 48 coming out in a couple of days. I love you. Bye bye.